morning. It's rolly again. It is rolly. I think the wind, whenever it comes slightly north of east here, the swell comes around the corner and then our house goes like this. We have decided to go a little bit further north uh, to a place called Raccoon Key and uh, chill out there instead because uh, it's not very nice with all this rolling. Okay, Kaza, forward! Forward! You wanna go sailing in your chair? Yeah, okay. He's the main. So this is the main sheet. It controls the main sail. We have to ease it before we can take the sail out. I know, it's funny, huh? <laughs> Move our house around by the wind. Main sail coming out. wide gap that we can hit to get through this shallow spot and we've got to stick really close to the island but I think we've got it pretty dialed in. It's gonna get shallow huh? It's gonna get shallow. You made it! We did it! This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Low in the sky. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're just sitting here and we get a call that there's weird bouncing lights on the horizon from Calico skies. So we run up. They said UFO. They said UFO. <laughs> and it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. We've got one right there and one right there. They're like 
high up now, not moving, and flashing colors. Like you can see it in the binoculars. It is going, I see like red, I see green, I see white. So we're now looking for UFOs. <laughs> but. Has I should you not, this is the craziest thing. No. <laughs> Look at it. Can you just Yeah, it? no, I did. It's just, I'm just fig trying to figure out like, is it because, can it be something in the atmosphere that makes like a star kind of uh, have different colors? Maybe. It could also be a plane no, or a helicopter. No, it can't be a plane. It's well, not it moving. Moved. This is a mystery. <laughs> this is crazy. If there is any, what do you call it when you know astrology? What do you call it? When you Alien? Know? No, when you know things about stars. <laughs> astronomer. <laughs> astronomer, <laughs> not <laughs> aliens. <laughs> if there is any astrology. astronomers out there, why would like a star or a planet show? The, is, I see like blue and, or green and like red and then white. My question is, how come none of the stars around it are doing it? How come it's only that one? And how come there is one more over there that is doing it too? That's a good question. But for now, we go to bed. Yeah. It's <laughs> late. <laughs> like the first rainy day we've had in I don't know how long and it's like thunderstorms and it's pretty crazy it's just been sunny for like three months and then all of a sudden I guess the seasons are changing and it's getting hotter and more thunderstorms feels weird I guess the boat is getting a little clean so that's good Look at this. There's a lot going on in the galley today. I know. <laughs> the dictator's gonna get fed, huh? In her dictator chair. Feed me, mommy, feed me. Would you make banana pancakes? Mm -hmm. Just banana and pancakes. Or, mommy. I mean, banana and egg. <laughs> Ooh, and the bread's going good. Sourdough's going good. Bill was just next door screaming that they connected to our internet. Is the speed good, Bill? I'll send you a screenshot. What? what? 150, that's crazy. <laughs> Just a pretty average everyday Wednesday today. <laughs> the other project I might get into is the ice machine. Well, the ice machine is not working very well. It puts out small little put cubes like that, and they're all like almost defrosted. And it's just it like, sucks. yeah, it's, it does suck. But now that I have my newly found refrigeration and freezer expertise, yeah. and some tools, I might troubleshoot it <laughs> after lunch. That sounds great. Yeah. This is it, this is the one. And I think the problem is that it's gotten soaked by water a bunch of times. It's, look at that, slightly rusty. Is it amazing that it works at all, I think? <laughs> yeah, it's been <laughs> submerged in water so many times. I'm gonna get it apart. Come check this out. I think I see the problem like within 30 seconds of opening it up. Take a look in there and just tell me if it looks like anything is out of the ordinary or difficult or strained, besides the rust. I mean, the rust is not ordinary, but I don't think that's the problem. Oh, wow. Aha. There is a lot of soot in there. Yeah, it's dust, huh? Oh, huge. And so what's happened is the air can no longer flow through there. Oh. And so it can't remove the heat from those coils. And so the heat just stays in the unit. It never gets blown out by the fan. That's, oh. that's how it's supposed to look. Well, I'll clean that out and I think we'll be back in business. putting out a lot more air now. Okay, so we'll check back in nine minutes. Awesome. Success. Let's have a Coke, cold Coke with ice. Enjoy. Thank you. Ooh. 
you broke the cardinal rule of everything, Kaza. I'm sorry. I did a whole I'm thing, so cooking excited. and making the bread. Two cups of starter. And then you took it out, had a big old bite, and didn't even film it. What the heck? Sorry. Well, now you gotta fake it. Tell me how the bread is. Oh, look at what's left. Just a <laughs> tiny little piece. How's the bread, Gaza? I was really hungry, and it's awesome. Is it good? Yeah, it has a really cr like crispy, oh, yeah. crispy crust. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, moist inside. Mm. And it's very soury. Really? Can I have a bite? Oh, it's good, huh? Mm. Yeah. Maybe right. Thank you. Brad. Good job. Thank you. Brad. We're just taking some time this morning to go through some awesome messages from our patrons and on the SV Delos Tribal Council group on Facebook. It's really cool to be able to communicate and interact with people on such a such a close level. Yeah, like yeah. I was answering some messages the other day, and it's just like it just makes me tear up. I know people are so kind, and I think the special thing is that <laughs> since it is such a a close community, we have a chance to to interact on a more personal level and just chat with people, answer their questions. And, if you'd like to become a part of that community, you can uh, check out svdelos.com forward slash beer or patreon.com forward slash svdelos for the details on how to join. It will make Sierra very happy. Yes, all of these things, baby nugs. It's a lot of fun. Wee! Should we go sailing? Yeah, let's go sailing. Cruising. <laughs> How fast are we going, Sierra? Seven knots. Seven knots, crazy. To move your house like that? Nice. Where are we headed, Keza? Heading down to Hog. For some change of scenery. I think the wind is gonna shift around a little bit and stuff, so. It would be nice to be down there. Some good sailing today. Yeah, we've got good winds. Yeah. We're making fast. good speed. Good morning, Sierra. Good morning. <laughs> Here, have some porridge. Ooh, porridge. Good. You know what I might cook for you this morning? Waffles, because you've never had waffles before. <laughs> yeah, I'll cook waffles while mommy's sleeping, because it's a lazy Sunday morning. We let mommy sleep in this morning, huh? Let's go check on mommy. I'll be right back. Hi. Good morning. What's up? I'm going to make waffles. What? Yeah. Waffles? Sierra's never had waffles before, so I'm gonna make waffles. You're crazy. Yeah, I know. going on this morning in the kitchen. You should try and feed a baby while making waffles while filming it. <laughs> Are you being good, Sierra?
you can have a lot of waffles. Yeah. <laughs> you think I should invite people over? See if anybody wants a waffle? Uh, hello everybody, Delos here. Just want to let you know that uh, waffles are coming out of the waffle maker right now. If anybody wants a waffle taste, come on over. Look, Sierra, one of our neighbors came over for waffles. Waffles! Yay! Yeah, check <laughs> this out. What you got? Oh, oh my god! Waffles for you, oh good sir. Oh my gosh. A little bit of bacon. No way. Look at Sierra, she's so what? excited now. Sierra's first waffle. Oh my God. Oh, that smells so good. Good morning. Here you go. Waffle for wow. you, good sir. Whipping <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're running low, we're running low. Uh, <laughs> we, we were They'll come up. Ooh, how's that? I can send her back over. Mm. How's that? Mm. Yeah. That was nice having the neighbors over for some breakfast. Yeah, that was surprising. <laughs> it's one of the things I love about cruising is the community. Like I couldn't imagine living in a, like the old neighborhood where I used to live and then putting a call out and then like everybody just coming over within five or 10 minutes for a random breakfast. <laughs> I and know. then everybody goes home and it's, it's very special. It's super special. Incredible community that we have of boats and friends and it's, it's very cozy. It's very cozy. I feel and it's very like, grateful for it. I know. It's very special. It doesn't happen very often. No. But we're, we're lucky. It's amazing. <laughs> Good people. Good people. So, trying to make pigs in a blanket today. Very American, by the way. <laughs> pigs in a blanket. Well, I wanted to show you guys how to make the pigs in the blankets. Homemade pigs in a blanket. But we have to improvise with some... Um, recipe things but I think we can cut these into small pieces yeah and the reason why we're doing this is because today is Jerry and Donna's 51st I know. wedding anniversary 51st can you believe being married for 51 years <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy but they're they're part of the the quarantine crew out here so we're gonna go into the yacht club yeah we're gonna pass around finger foods we're gonna have a fire we're gonna chill we're gonna just chat and be like normal people socializing It'd be amazing yeah yeah okay okay so we're making pigs in a blanket yes excellent so this is gonna be the pastry the dough and we're gonna be rolling these little guys up in here oh it's gonna be so good oh my god except so for the good. fact that today if you look at this it is like that's like 30, 30 degrees is 86 Fahrenheit. So the thermometers are getting like 32. So what is 32? 32 Celsius is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. 140? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> it's 90. Ryan. It's 90 degrees in here, Nuggets. It's like what? 90 degrees in the shade. It's We're going slightly crazy. Look at our hair today. Look at our hair today. Great. We're gonna have to go swimming soon, huh, nights? Because it's getting hot and sweaty in here. Somewhere. <laughs> Early start. Oh, oh, looking real good. Yeah. Feels really <laughs> fun to play with, too. Yeah. Have you ever made these before? Mm mm. No. I haven't either. These are starting to look pretty professional. Let's get the production line going. What's going on, bruh? Uh, we just got a call from one of the fishing boats up at two, lo two islands up north at Buena Vista that uh, somebody had an accident on board and we think it might be a child and they've got a pretty bad laceration on their leg and there's no medical uh, facilities around so we've got a lot of stuff on board and we're going to try and help them out. They think it might need stitches. I haven't seen it so I'm not sure but we have this cool stuff, this uh, Dermabond which is a topical skin adhesive that can... Uh, can work if it's not like super crazy bad. And I've gotten out all of our bandages and some of our cleaning stuff and um, we're just gonna try and help them out if we can. I think they're they're a local local family, maybe. Yeah. I hope it's not too bad, huh? I hope it's not too bad either. Yeah. And it's weird because we also have to make sure that they're uh, they've been quarantined from the virus, right? Otherwise we can't get close to them. Yeah, so it's gonna get um, pretty hard. You just have to see if it's okay for them for us to film, huh? If it's a stressful situation. Then yeah, I think we to. maybe won't at first and then we'll just sort of read it. Yeah. 
just gonna take this off, gigs. and then we're gonna look at it and see how it is, and then we're gonna clean it and get it real clean. And then we have some special glue that is oh, like super okay. glue for your skin. And I think that glue, if it's not super bad, we'll just put that on there, and then you'll start healing right away. Okay. All right. Was it bleeding a lot? No. No. That's the death thing. Yeah, it, it's, it does it seem to be deep. Is it okay? No, that's why I'm a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mama used to dump it, so okay. You know what I could use, Kaz, as a pair of tweezers to get this bandage off? So a conk got you, huh? Yeah. Yes, After so many years of getting those conks, one finally got you back. Oh, that's good. You're doing so good. Wow, you're really brave. You're really very brave. I think you'll be just fine. Yeah, I think what we need to do, the most important thing, is we'll just wash it really good because we don't want you to get an infection out here. So we're going to clean it with water and then we'll, we'll put the glue on there and we'll put another band-aid on it and then you'll start getting better. Yeah. Sound good? No needles. Wow. Nah, no, no needles. needles. We don't need any needles. That's the first thing she said. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't okay. do it. So this might sting a little bit, but we it, the stinging is just at making it clean, okay? So we're just gonna go on here like this. I know it's gonna sting. I'm sorry, but it's gonna feel better. And then we're gonna be done. This is the, the toughest part. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. That was the hardest part. I know. It's the toughest part. Angelina. Yeah, she's doing really good. Very strong. This will this will get rid of any other stuff around it. Yeah. And then we glue you back together. Not so bad, huh? So with the glue, um, you have to keep gluing it or just... Well, it should hold the skin together long enough until it starts to heal. Yeah. Okay. And then that's, that's it. The only thing I'm worried is it's, it's, uh, it's a jagged cut, and so I might need help of somebody to hold the skin together, because you have to hold the skin together, yeah, yeah. and then it has to come together, and then you glue it. <laughs> yeah, and then we'll bandage it up. Okay. Okay, so we just need to hold that together and let's let's hold it for a little while longer just to make sure. But I think it's doing pretty good. Yeah. And then we'll put some bandages on it. Do you guys have other bandages on the boat and stuff? Yeah, but we'll be back we'll 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 tomorrow night. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And drama outside, but in here, it's coming along pretty it's well. It's serene. I'm gonna eat some before we go in. I don't know what to do. I think they're looking pretty good. Really appreciate wow. everything. No problem. Yes, no problem. I'm happy to help, guys. Yeah. I hope she gets. She'll get better quick. You're okay, a fast we take healer. A picture and all. Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's cheese. 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 Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Yes. Thank nice you. to meet Thank you guys. Thank you. Nice. Huh? Super nice family. Yeah. Luckily, the the wound was cut all the way through the skin, and you could see the the muscle fibers, but it didn't cut into the muscle, oh. which is really good. It was just through the skin and uh, she was really strong. And I'm really impressed with that Dermabond stuff. Uh, Dermabond is cool. It like literally we were able just to push the wound together and then put the skin glue on top of it and it held after about 30, 45 seconds. And then we just put some bandages and good to go. Wow. I don't think I would have done stitches if we didn't have that stuff, not for that. Yeah. Not for that wound. Okay. I don't think it would have been worth it. But um, yeah, so yeah, she's got to keep it clean now. Should be good. It's nice to be able to help people, you know. Yeah. So amazing. many people help us. So many places we go, and it's nice to be able to help. You're always very local. calm, though. Like I don't know if I could have. I guess oh. I could have, but it's just like. I don't know. Yeah. And the pig's in a blanket is almost done. Oh, that's good news. Yeah. Now I'm gonna have a beer and a party. Or that's not good, watch this. Do you see the fuel squirting out of there? Our fuel filter is rusted through. Ah. How do we fix that? I don't know. How do we fix it? Let me, I keep my finger on it. No, no. Oh no, we're stranded. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> 
it through, so it's just squirting out fuel. Okay, transfer. All right. Thank you. you got a back bucket. Back up dinghy. Back up dinghy, baby. Take the baby. Back up dinghy, baby. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? We're gonna go on a thing ride. I want to see Connor oh. drive with the baby. Yeah. Let's okay. see how we do here. We're gonna go on a dinghy ride <laughs> with dinghy ride. Dinghy ride with a dinghy ride. All right, hold on a second. I gotta start this bad boy. Oh my god, don't hit her on the face. All right, take her for one sec. Right. <laughs> <Damn. laughs> there we go. Well, look who it is. <laughs> if it isn't the couple of honor. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, Jerry. I was wondering if you had any wise words of us who have yet to make it 51 years into marriage. If, if you have make any advice. Day, make every day count. Yeah? <laughs> well, that's good advice. Make I like that. Advice. Make every day count. <laughs> nice. Yep. Can I give you a hand carrying anything? Everybody have a great time. Enjoy the anniversary. Enjoy the evening. Love here. Okay. Bringing it out. Oh, thank you. You guys enjoying the little piggies in the blanket? Hi. Yeah, you're probably right. I brought mustard if anyone wants mustard it's down that way. I got you to Chris. Beautiful sunset, good people, just chill vibe. It's awesome. Cheers, guys. Hope you like this episode. Make sure to check in next Friday as we prepare to leave the Bahamas after being out here for over 100 days. But first, we have an amazing wedding ceremony for Connor and Steph. It was truly special, so don't miss that one. Whoa, get it, Mom. I might have to blur that shot. Kaza, what are you doing? Getting some shots in there, Getting some shots. Mmm, <laughs> bacon. <laughs> She's a Troutman, so, and I'm pretty close to you. But I think I'm going to give them to you. Is that nice? Yeah. That feels that good, huh? Because it's so hot in here. We'll just put a wet towel on you. <laughs>